welcome by a video tutorial of Magento Commerce. My name is Hans Kuipers from Jirio and with this tutorial I will show you how to create a new layout page in Magento. All you need is a running installation of Magento Commerce, an FTP connection and a text editor to edit XML and HTML files. This tutorial is based on the enterprise version of Magento but also works for community edition. First I'll show you the end result. For this webshop we needed a different layout for the front end than Magento Enterprise default would give us. We wanted this flash banner over here and we wanted some extra spaces over here. We don't need in other pages of Magento. In the back end of Magento you can define your own pages. In order to view them on the front end you have to connect them to a certain layout. Go to CMS manage pages and I'm already on this page. Over here you can see our created pages and the layout where it's connected to. You can see a lot of empty fields that's because I've deleted them uh, for this tutorial. In order to connect a layout to a certain page just open the, the page to edit it. Go to custom design and then select a layout over here. You can see the default magenta layouts and for this webshop we needed another one. In order to get another one in this list we have to do a couple of things. First we have to create a new layout, then we have to alter the config.xml to get it in this list and final we have to select it from this list and then we're done. So first we're going to create a new layout page therefore we have to go to Coda, it's the editor I use and I'm already logged in to this uh, to our web shop and I'm already in the in the directory app. In this directory we have to add a new layout. So we go to design front end enterprise because we're using an enterprise version. Over here I go to default default template page. Here you can see the default created and we are using one column Dutch page TML and it's over here. I already copied it to our own package so we go to Diverstein template page one column PHTML and you can see our version over here but we needed a new one, so I've copied it to one column FP from front page PHTML and I've added some code. Code over here and some code over here. As you can see it over here, the difference between those two. So all you have to do is copy one of these files to your own template page one and alter it to your own design. And that's it for changing the code layout uh, one column PHTML to one column front page PHTML. The next thing we have to do is change the config file. To view your newly created layout in the drop down list, we have to change a config file so Magento will know there's a layout and where he can find it. What we have to do is go to the app directory code core mage, scroll down to page, etsy and config.xml. Scroll down, over here you can see the defined layouts, empty one column, two columns with left bar, two columns with right bar and three columns. The same as we can see over here in the custom design, empty one column two columns, two columns, three columns. We're going to add another one and since it's based on one column we're going to copy this one and paste it after. Change the code from one column to one column front page. Over there where it can be found, front page and over here a name in the drop down list. Save. 
go back to the back end of your Magento and refresh this, this page. And there we can see one column front page in the drop down list of your layout.xml. Select this and save it. Oh, go back because I needed to change the uh, home page and not the 404 page. Over here you can see one column front page. One column front page was added to the to this page. And in the front page of this website, oh, not the drop down list, you can see over here the end result. That's it. In this video tutorial I created one new layout. But feel free and add more if needed. For this website we needed two extra layout pages. One we created over here the one column front page and another one was something had something had to do with the categories. This was a video tutorial for Jirio. Visit our website at jirio.com for more tutorials. Have fun creating cool magenta web shops and till next time.